Good evening and welcome to Lavinia's Demo Spotlight. Tonight we are looking at Demetrios, the big cynical adventure. This is a point and click game. It's from Cowcat Games and the link to the, their website is in the episode description. This is going to be, this is chapter one we've got here. of about six chapters total and it's set to be released um, early 2016. Uh, I said for PC, Linux, and Mac. So let's jump in here and see what we got. So this is a preview version. Some things might change, but all of chapter one. There we go. Paris, a hot July night. My name is Bjorn. Bjorn. Oh yes, Bjorn Thonin. Sorry, I'm a bit drunk currently. <laughs> anyway, on that fateful night, I got Ooh, a phone call. Who is it? Pick up the phone, Bjorn. Uh, hello? me, but who? I need to warn you. You're in grave danger. Uh-oh. What the? Ooh, I get it. Good prank. Hi. Night. No, wait. Don't hang. Oh, you're in trouble now, Bjorn. You're too drunk to take it seriously. If only I had known this phone call would change my life forever. Later that night. I'm gonna creep in through the window. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, a noise. Someone in my apartment? I did the first thing that came to mind. Took a flashlight and moved towards the living room. Which that would be the worst thing ever. There seems to be nothing. If you heard a sound and there was someone in your house. But then, ooh. I fell flat on the floor. <laughs> oh, goodness. A few hours later, I woke up suddenly. That sound. The phone. Again. I ran to pick it up. Hello? Oh, Tom. Bjorn, why the heck are you still home? Uh, Tom, I have some trouble. Don't tell me you forgot we were fishing today. Come here at once. Sorry, I don't think I'll come. I have some important matters to attend to. Knowing you, I guess you won't change your mind. All right, then. Just come for dinner this evening. You'll tell me more. All right, I'll do my best. See ya. Ouch, my head hurts. What happened already? I think someone was in my apartment. He must have knocked me out. And he probably stole something, so you better check your goods. Before reporting to the police, I better check and see if anything's missing. Yeah, every once in a while I hear a sound at night, and I think maybe there's that panic that, oh my god, is there someone in the house? And there never is. Ooh, we're in Paris. Paris Schmeras. Chapter one. But there's that terrible fear. Like, what if there was someone? What would I do? I don't think, I'm not a brave person. I couldn't take out an attacker. It would be the worst. Okay, let's see this stone painting. That painting is quite something. There are several interpretations for the pattern, though. According to ancient aliens, Sirius, Paris, this represents a UFO destroying the Earth on Judgment Day. Oh, I see. But some others say the truth is out there. He's got a plaque on his table. Caro della Francesca. It could mean Stone of France. Or maybe French fries? I don't know French, so I can't say. Carpet. Mm, nothing's underneath. Right shoe? One of my boots. My favorites for winter. They keep the feet warm. I wonder where's the other. Oh, there it is. Ah, there it is. Great. Not that I'll be wearing them. It's 100 degrees outside. Fahrenheit degrees. 
good. Fahrenheit is the system I use. That's what I'm familiar with. Uh, if they're your winter boots, and if it's 100 already, that must mean you're in summertime. Why, why didn't you put these in the closet or something? Radiator, it works like an old frying pan. I swear, I cooked eggs on it once. I believe you, those things can get hot. Ugh, you just have a bag of trash hanging out in your living room? What the? Hey, it wasn't like this yesterday. The housebreaker must have stepped on it. Why didn't you just take it to the out to the dumpster? Why was it just sitting in your living room? Seriously, what kind of thief trips up into garbage bags? That's my door. Yes, I said doormate, because he's my best mate when I come back drunk and never mind. <laughs> Packet of crisps? Oh, I've lost that packet of crisps last month. Really? And you, it's just been hanging out on your floor? You're giving me a buzz. <laughs> Still good. Memorial stone. I got this about a year ago. It doesn't have much value, but it sure stands out in the living room. I, yeah, it really does. I thought it was a coffee table with something on it, but no, I see now. It's... It's, it's looking like a gravestone. That's a strange thing to have in your living room, Bjorn. I like to read my comics here. That's why I needed a lamp. Couldn't put it anywhere else. That armchair looks nice, but actually it's awful. After sitting in it for an hour, I can't even get out of it. Oh, is this Nintendo over here? The seller told me it was the all-new next-gen must-have console. Somehow I feel cheated. <laughs> Not only a DVD player, it also reads VHS cassettes. Oh No, VHS are the worst. My mom has like a million VHS. She refuses to get rid of it. She's slowly been moving over to DVDs, and even that, I think, to just get like Netflix or Amazon Prime or something, have it all digital. You don't need all that crap taking up space in your house. But especially you don't need VHS. Throw them away. How luxurious. Oh, I borrowed this DVD from Tom. Snow White and her three little pigs. I love animated films. It reminds me of my childhood. Oh. Oop, got a DVD. Um, Sexy Max Films. Huh? Yeah, this is an interesting looking movie. Uh, what's that X rating on the back? Hmm, what do you think, Bjorn? Probably a mistake. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I've lost the remote control, so it's stuck on the cooking fan channel. Only cooking programs. Old papers. Some old newspapers I get for free in the mail. I've only kept the funny pages. I used to only read the funny pages too, but that's when I was a kid. And yes, I am going to click on absolutely everything I can find to click on. Power socket? Well, that's only a power socket? Well, this makes me think. I've always wondered what it really does if you put your fingers in it. This is a really bad idea. Go for it. Yeah, that's totally an urban legend, and I'm going to prove it. Really, though, how do you get your fingers into it? It's too small. Oh. Um. Oh, we died. Here lies Bjorn Thon and found dead in his apartment after all his neighbors complained about a foul order. <laughs> when I died on the first screen, uh, we sure did. You know, let's try again. Still kind of smells like a rotten egg. Or actually, no, that's not the radiator. Something else is smelling, but that leads me to think. I'm so annoyed that I'm going to leave it there. Okay, good. We don't have to click on everything again. It remembered from last time, so good deal. Let's look at this. Well, we'll look at the shelf first. Better not touch it. The screws aren't very tightened. Yeah, I'm not good at hanging things either, Bjorn. That plant looks like a zombie. Maybe I should water it more often. Ugly piece of pottery. My aunt makes pottery. She gave me this. I couldn't find the courage to toss it in the garbage. No, so you're stuck with it. Well, I should look at the menu. What have we got here? So we'll leave our autosave there, that's fine. Okay. Oh yeah, and there's all our options. Um, resume, please. So we can check out the storeroom. So we get everything here. Oh no, I didn't look at the cover. I was saving that for some reason. Uh can't. 
What's this? This seems like a food can. Why is it way up there? I should try and grab it. It's high, so high. Uh, not high enough, though. Ooh, it's so good. It's like so I don't know what that is. Sausage flavor with twice more sausage. So the can contains two sausages. Best before October 1998. He's gonna eat it anyhow. Probably say it's best to eat it before that date. Not required. Good enough for me. I do like his kitty cupboard. He's cute. My grandma gave me this. She loved cats. Ah, yes, I remember now. That's the only drawer with a lock, so I keep some cash in here. Now the question is, where's the key? There's only a big piece of sheet in here. Sheet with two E's. Vacuum, iron, products, useless stuff. Uh huh. That one's totally empty. Aside from a hundred cockroaches living in there. Not surprised? Okay, bedroom, storeroom. Let's start with the storeroom. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. I can't stand ties. That awful feeling of having his throat pressed, suffocating. Oh, this is an angel. It looks kind of like underwear. My cousins are very religious. They offered me this. They said it's the angel of beauty and purity. I use it as a scarecrow for insects. <laughs> Pompous grass, huh? Weird, I've heard these things grew in closets, but mine doesn't. Maybe I should have watered it. I can't pull the curtain more. There's nothing interesting behind it anyway. Alright. What's in your pocket? I put my wallet here. Let's see. Oh, something's wrong. It's empty. I've been robbed. Cash, credit card, all gone. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise. That thief must have taken it. At least he left me my ID card. What a gentleman. Honestly, that is something, because that is a huge pain to replace. March 11th, 82. So he's just a couple months older than me. Goodbye, shopping plans. Fortunately, I've stored some spare money in that cupboard door. Well, we have to find the key. Where's the key to open it? There's no telling, Bjorn. You don't seem like the most organized fella. All right, let's look in this box. I'm absolutely certain there's something useful here, like a key or something, but I can't see a thing. Uh, is there a light? Urgent box, now that's interesting. Urgent box, oh yes. I did put some urgent things to the inside a few years ago. Totally forgot about it. I love these little gadget things. They remind me of Christmas. His snow globe there. Is there a fish in that? Even if I don't like Christmas that much, my parents never gave me any present. They said it was a commercial thing and that Santa does not exist. How could they lie to me like this? <laughs> Sorry, Bjorn. I do feel bad for people who didn't get at least some kind of holiday in winter. It was always Christmas for me. As long as you're getting something where you get presents, come on. A few pens, a rubber, a condom. Nothing useful. Oh, don't get much accent. action, eh, Bjorn? bookend that prevents the books from falling, and I don't want that to happen, so we'll leave it right there. Okay. Some great books I got for super cheap. Only one euro each. I don't actually know what the exchange rate is. Euro to American dollars. So, I should, but one euro doesn't mean much to me. Alright, what do we got here? Bondage gear? That's a lot of tissues, but the rate I use them is astonishing. Oh, Bjorn. I know, this should be better next to my printer. Which I don't have. I you just have printer paper. Oh, I forgot I had this. A mini vibrating Eiffel Tower. Say it still has batteries. These could come in handy. <laughs> All right, we got some nice super slow batteries. I'll put that thing aside. I wasn't done looking in the drawer though. Uh, handcuffs, these are handcuffs. I don't need them for now. And this must be the keys. Yeah, they're not for the Covered there for the handcuffs. Uh, belt? What's that belt doing here? Oh yeah, I remember now. Silly me. What do you remember? It's in here. It, is he doing some kind of asphyxiation stuff going on? I, just a simple whip. Very gentle, not too painful. Mm -hmm. You're a kinky guy, Bjorn. A carnival mask. So cool. When wearing that, no one can see who you are. Well, that takes care of the drawer. What about this one? It's totally empty. I never put anything inside. Maybe that's why. That would explain it. 
All right, what about your umbrellas? I don't need any umbrella for now. The sun is shining. Okay, this bag? That bag is quite mysterious. Let's have a look. Hmm, well, after taking a look inside, I think it's better to leave that mystery alone. Don't tell me it's just a bag of garbage you've got in your closet that you never took out to the dumpster. Boots. Boots for the mud. I never go outside when there's mud, so they're as good as new. Well, I don't really like walking in the mud either, so I can sympathize with that one. Uh, I'm not really seeing a light here. So let's go back for now. It feels like there's got to be one, though, so that we can look in that box. Okay, so we've got... Oh, the clock. My clock works. Like clockwork. Or not. Cobweb. Mm, those are for decoration. It kind of gives a jungle feeling to the room and... Well, okay, that's just a cobweb. The better excuse for cobwebs, Bjorn, that I use is I would rather have spiders than the types of bugs that spiders eat. Spiders are usually less obnoxious. That ceiling light is special. It's also a smoke detector. Very useful. Is there really such a thing as a ceiling light smoke detector? I'm not buying it, Bjorn. Okay, can we take this lamp somewhere? I doubt I can carry it. Blasted wires. Nope, we need to find a flashlight. Let's try the bedroom. He's got a coffin in his bedroom. Bjorn, what is going on with that? Rather handy. If I get a heart attack, they could put me inside directly. Okay, it's a little macabre. How about these vases? Recently, I've made an advertisement to promote my store. I brought all that stuff here to take a picture so it looks more authentic. I got this statue a few months ago. Ooh, this is going to be important. This is the picture from the title screen. I don't know exactly what this bird is supposed to represent, but it looked cool. Hey, wait a minute. There was a tablet positioned on this statue. Oh, something else stolen. I remember it clearly because it fell when I moved the statue last week. But I know I put it back. That was a tablet shaped like a thunder. It's gone, and I can't see it anywhere else in the room. So that thief must have taken it. But why? I better tell the police about this bird? That statue's quite cool looking. Is that a bird, a hen, a cow? I can't really tell. It's a head, isn't it? I swear it's looking straight at me. I can kind of see it. Like, these are the eyes and the nose and a big curvy mouth. Stick figures. I'm guessing these ancient people didn't have art lessons. Even I would draw better than that. These are seemingly drawings of tablets. There used to be a tablet carved on one of these. No, we've got maybe snow. That one looks kind of like a pile of poo. A leaf. That one looks like a TV. Okay, and that's it for the statue, so... Oh, back we go. These bags of laundry. I've gathered all kinds of doodads in these bags. I don't want to get rid of them, but at the same time I have no intention to ever touch them again. So they're just going to hang out on a saber. Hey, that's me, Bjorn the Pirate. Arr. All right, Bjorn. What else we got? An interesting painting. La Joconde. Yep, that, that's the male version of it. It's made by an artist named Leonardo da Vinci. Uh-huh. Really nice plates. I got them in exchange for 50 magical points at my supermarket pit. I believe in miracles. That thing stands on two legs in the middle of the room and has never fell. Well. Poor little journal, alone and naked on the floor. And you're not even interesting, just boring business articles. Mouse hole. Anyone home? Mousy? Oh no, it doesn't answer. Maybe it's had a heart attack or something. Does it usually answer? Oh, there's our flashlight. Snatch that up. I'll probably need this. Hooray! Crappy. There's only one slight problem. The batteries are out. I need replacements. Well, it turns out we've got that taken care of, Bjorn. But let's keep looking in this room before we go check that out. His bed. It's not that comfortable, nor pretty. But I don't care. When sleeping, we can't notice details like that. I see you have a teddy bear. I don't travel with my favorite teddy anymore. I take the risk of damaging it. Socks, socks everywhere. Here, I store my earplugs. Yes, the whole drawer is filled with earplugs. It's a lot of earplugs. What about that phone? 
I rarely use my fixed line telephone. I don't even have a landline anymore. My mobile phone is much better sound and it's so practical. Where is it, by the way? Oh no, his clock radio is bugging again. Now I'll be late for work every morning again. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm my own boss. You could just reset it. Alright, what's this stick? I think there used to be something at the edge, but it's probably long gone. And this halberd. I should have used that yesterday. He does have a lot of weaponry. For hearing someone in the house, I mean, he's got the saber, the stick, the halberd. There were some options to attack that person. That might have been a little difficult to handle, but probably very efficient. And if you'd been armed, maybe the guy would have thought twice about attacking you. Alright, these magazines. Most of these are tabloids. I love sensation articles. Paperweight. I know this looks like slippers, but it's really a paperweight. Some journals. I gather all the newspapers I get here. Newspapers are meant to be read several times, so I never throw them away. Oh, Bjorn. What's in this chest? I used to store some money and important papers in here, but it was too obvious for a hiding spot, so I moved them elsewhere. All right, manuals. Some of my childhood manuals. Boring stuff. Take all your stuff and scram. The story of a little boy expelled from his home. Cooking for idiots? It seems like a book to learn cooking. Who needs that? Not me, anyway. Uh, the Legend of Little Johnny. And it's not even a joke. <laughs> I will suck you tomorrow. This book helps people who can't stop eating sweets. Oh, is that what it does? Mickey Quacks. That's a collector edition. Barbie has big boobs. Finally, a book that tells the truth. Tales from next year. It says on the cover to update the book next year in order to read it. Technology. Boring stories. That title sure makes me want to read it. Henry the Eleventh. This book relates the life of a man who never lived. Don't waste anything. Salvage everything. Don't waste anything? No, oh, dang. Too late. I flushed the toilets. Ecological Dictionary. No lie, that's definitely an ecological book. All the pages are empty. And La Biblia. That's the Spanish version. Spanish or not doesn't make much difference. I wouldn't understand a word of it anyway. What's in these compartments? Only some clothes and underpants in there. Comics? Comics are fun. I mostly love European comics, such as Tintin, Anthrax, or Lucky Lake. I don't know what any of those are. I'm not a big comics person. Nothing against them, I just never got into them. What about this paperweight? A cute little robot. And powerful, so it holds the books really well. Compared to the left one, this is boring. Just a typical paperweight. Alright, and that takes care of this room. So let's go back to the storeroom. I do want to check the bathroom, but first, since we can do this. Okay, inventory, inventory. There we go. Batteries with the flashlight. They're the same size. Good. And then there was light. Fantastic. Now let's use that. In the cardboard box. Much better. Now I can rummage through this mess. Here's my broken computer, my sewing equipment, a pet petter. Awesome, here's a flashlight. I need... Let's put it back. I found something interesting. The key. Yes. By the way, what does this key open? Well, hopefully the door in the cupboard. Let's go see. Not that one, the locked one. Oh, no, no, sorry. We don't want to hit it with a flashlight. Oh, and he did it anyhow when we made scratches on the door. Uh, sorry. We need to grab the key. No need to hide the key. Okay, flashlight. Stop. Key. There we go. Finally, some money. Got some cash. What, that's all? Five. Ooh, you know, actually, I don't know how you say that, because to me it would be uh, $5.75. Do you say 5.75 euros? Does that make sense? I don't know euros. I thought I'd left more. Me without my credit card. Great. Well, well, let's head into the bathroom. Maybe there's something useful here. Slippers. I recommend these. Very useful for cleaning the rooms without leaving traces on the floor. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I totally forgot I had this can of white paint. This dates back from when I repainted the room two years ago how some things become invisible when you see them every day. True enough. Just some wash gloves and disposable razors. Ah, and a bag of cat food. Does he have a cat? Products. 
What do we got? Clippers. Who goes to the hairdresser nowadays? With this wonderful piece of technology, anyone can save 20 euros for a cut. This smells funny, to be honest. Maybe that's real toilet water. Some water they've taken from toilets after people gotta pee. <laughs> that would justify the name, anyway. And the smell. I like the little graphic hair. It's like he's spraying scent out of his armpit. The name is cool. Ned 500. If only I'd known what this is for. Coconut scented deodorant. This is my deodorant. Freshen up. With this coconut flavored deodorant, the traffics will come to you to destroy the filth. Blusher? My blush. You use blush? Oops, no, that was a slip in my tongue. Well, whose blusher is it then? A towel in my bathroom. Yeah. Well, that would be the place for it. Every bathroom needs its hairbrush. I mean, who doesn't have one? Men with messy hair, of course. Tiny house? A little tiny, whiny, cutesy house. Just hanging out. Alright, how about the light? For some reason, I've never found the switch for these lights. Good thing they're turned on. There's just always light in your bathroom? Alright, well, there is more to explore, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here when I keep things around the 25-minute mark. So, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Head over to their website. Check out the game for yourself. You can play Chapter 1 as well. And come back next time. We'll finish exploring this bathroom and... I think this, this should finish up the house. Maybe after this we'll move on and uh, alert the police.